Hey guys, just wanted to give you a, a quick uh, rundown on how you can send me submissions for my top 10 crashes uh, of the week in iRacing. Um, now I'm sure uh, everyone has watched replays, um, but uh, you might not have always um, figured out where they, they ended up, or I uh, just want to run you through um, exactly what I'm looking for as well. So first things first, a handy little tip to uh, find your crashes, uh, if you're not sure where it is, is the N key. Uh, so the N key in a replay by default takes you to the next incident. Could be a zero times to a four times, you don't always know, so gives you a little bit of a lead up, take you to the right car, shows you what happened. Nothing spectacular there. We go in again, we skip to the next one. Tiny bit of contact there. Press N again. Oh, something else is going to happen here. So this is how you can find incidents within your replays. Oh, that's a nasty one. Now, I won't always focus on the right car. So, uh, if this is the kind of replay uh, that you might want to send in, you think it might make uh, the top ten, I would l love to get submissions from you guys, because obviously I can't watch everything. <laughs> um, so what I would really like is if you take it back maybe about 30 seconds or so um, before anything happened, especially if there's a little bit of lead up um, uh, niggle, uh, that would be great. So maybe about here or something. Uh, and then what you want to do is uh, bring up this uh, little icon here, which gives you the trimming tool. So you can say trim from there. And we can watch it back through. Actually, going on up ahead. And there we have our crash. Uh, we'll let it play out. Make sure the cars come to a complete stop. Then give it another you know, 5 to 20 seconds. It doesn't really matter. Um, the exact More amount of time, uh, and there he is complaining. Um, so yeah, probably at least to there. You can take a little bit further just to just to be uh, safe. Then you don't press trim pool again. Then you press save. Uh, call it something that makes sense. Doesn't really matter too much, but uh, crash submission. save it now. The important thing to know is that when after you've saved it, uh, where it then goes uh, is into a folder which I'll, I'll put up on the screen uh, now. So it's into your My Documents folder. Then there's an iRacing folder and there's a Replace folder which is full of .rpy files. Um, now something trimmed down like that is not going to be too big um, so it's very, very easy to email. So you just find your saved file in there um, then attach it uh, with an email to uh, iracingsam at gmail.com and I can consider it for my uh, compilations. What I'm looking for uh, in terms of crashes is really um, is really just anything that seems kind of interesting. Um, doesn't have to be, uh, you know, massively spectacular. It doesn't have to be rolls or big flips or anything like that. Things I won't consider though uh, is uh, intentional takeouts. You know, I don't like to see that, and I don't want to glorify it by putting it in, in my uh, my top tens. Um, but uh, yeah, anything you think is noteworthy, interesting. Um, doesn't, as I say, doesn't have to be, you know, the biggest crash of all time. Um, I think that's not the only thing that's interesting. Other things can be interesting uh, as well. So, yeah, I really look forward to getting your submissions. Um, don't forget to, in the email, put in uh, your name that you want credited. Um, and I'll make sure I credit all the, the submissions. But, yeah, just make sure you send me those rpy files uh, not an mp4 or a uh, any other kind of video format that you've done yourself because I want to be able to get into iRacing and uh, get the angles 
that I would like on boards, things like that. And the final thing I have to mention is that I don't actually have a whole lot of oval content, so I'm mostly a road racer. Um, so I really only own um, a few of the tracks, the oval tracks, uh, the ones that have road courses as well. Daytona, I have or Talladega. Um, but unfortunately, iRacing still makes you have to own uh, the track to be able to view a replay. I don't have to own the cars. Um, so if it's on the oval side um, at the moment, um, probably not going to be able to do it unless it's the big tracks or the free ones. Uh, but still, they're the, where the biggest crashes happen, so I would love to, uh, to see some of that as well. Um, and hopefully over time as perhaps uh, I'm able to monetize this channel uh, it'll be an investment uh, I can make and get some more oval content happening so yeah thank you very much for watching really appreciate it looking forward to what you can send me here